what is going on everyone welcome back to another video and uh, in this video i'm going to be showing you how we align the elevator guides how we make the elevator guides super straight so that your ride in the elevator is smooth so that you don't feel any bumps while you are moving through the elevator and uh, this is just like a continuation of a previous video i just made yeah the video before this i was showing you how we join these guides how we install them into the elevator shaft yeah you should probably check it out yeah the video just before this one but this one now after we install them we are now going to be aligning so now what we do during alignment yeah we use there are different methods you might be knowing another method but now this is the method that we do so we use a square to test for the twist yeah so you can see there is a string it is attached to the guide using magnets so now what he's doing yeah now we are testing for the squareness you see that yeah it is put on one side on both sides of the guide but on the same face yeah what he's doing now he's testing for the squareness to remove the twist yeah the guides have to be facing each other perfectly yeah this is a slow process you can see these are the magnets and you can see there is a string over there it stems all the way from up from the template yeah so we measure that distance it has to be uniform and uh, it is almost always standard and it is between 28 millimeters to 30 millimeters so we suspend this rope using thimble rods but you can use any other weight that does not touch the guide so that the string is super straight you can see now there's this horizontal spring now there's this vertical there's this vertical the one that stems from the template yeah it has been moving you now have to settle it down yeah you settle it down you have to have some concentration yeah we are setting on the master bracket so you can see the magnet over here yeah like i was telling you it stems all the way from the template up from the top you have to measure that distance has to be the same yeah 30 millimeters now checking over here from our tools oh, spanner you tighten the clips that are holding the guides yeah this is a, a support these are the clips over here that i'm talking about so you tighten them from behind okay yeah they're 19 mm you first tighten them so that the guide does not move now this is the other side we are testing for the twist it has to be perfect this is a slow process yeah most of the actions are repetitive because this is the first setting we are at the topmost bracket the topmost support yeah we are going to set the topmost support then we go back to the pit and we set the bottommost support and these other middle guides we shall just use the measurements and the adjustments we got from the master brackets so now you have to move it with the hammer slowly until you get the perfect squareness or to remove the twist yeah the guides might be facing different directions yeah trying to help over here yeah i knock as he instructs me okay testing for the squareness yeah the video might be a little bit repetitive but this is how you do it yeah you have to measure many times so that you make less mistakes this is the start okay yep this is the alignment process yeah it takes a little bit of time and patience you have to be patient so that you produce something perfect remember when you need something perfect you have to be patient okay 
yeah yeah i have made a bunch of other videos you can check them out now after achieving all the squareness removing the twist now it is time to measure the dbg dbg is called the distance between guides yeah it is given in the elevator plan okay yeah it is not made up it has to be on measurement okay here we go after measuring the dbg after setting the topmost bracket we now use these are called setting blocks after measuring everything and the center these are called setting blocks yeah these are holding the 30 mm mark you understand this gap that you have been measuring this gap from the template it is called 30 mm it is standard so this one will stem our reading all the way from the top to the bottom and the string will not be swinging too much so once we have done with all the settings we tighten all the brackets so the master bracket has been set yeah like i showed you we use the thimble rods to suspend the strings the, the strings are called plumb lines yeah you can see now this is the connecting this is the setting block transform all the way from the top now we are going to put this now put on the top we are going to put another one in the pit we also set another bracket in the pit then from there we shall be able to set the middle brackets very easily 